In this video, I am going to discuss universal product codes. You see these codes all the time. You probably know them better as UPCs. And most products you buy today have these codes. Pick up a can of soup, you'll find a code. Uh, pick up a box of crackers, you'll find a code. So on and so forth. But now I'm going to tell you how to read these little codes. Take a look at this one right back here. Now, as you will see, there's a number, 636920. That number represents the manufacturer of this product. Now, this manufacturer pays an annual fee each year to a company that assigns these universal product codes. And if you want to know what company that is, you can look that up on the internet. But this company uh, assigns these product codes to these manufacturers. So the first six numbers is the manufacturer code of the people who made that product. Now, what about the last five digits? Well, the, the digits 92247 represent the item number of the product. And you can see it right here. It says 92247. Okay, that's the item number of the product in question. For this book here, this would be the item number of this book. Okay, and you say, well, what about the last digit? I see it right here, and in this case, it's a six. Okay, this involves a little arithmetic. You see, that last number is a check digit. And this check digit is specifically designed to let the computer know when it's scanning the item that it has scanned the correct one and not made a mistake. So, how do they figure this out? Well, I'm going to tell you in a future video, so stay tuned.